okay we are ready to make our own uh, mechanism for walking um, properly for a uh, jack okay so if you play right now the our previous version uh, just uh, he's sliding instead of walking right so how can we make him walk uh, we really want the leg movements. The body has to move. Also, the leg movements have to happen, right? So, if you kind of stop and think about it, the the uh, the leg movements. One leg has to move up, go go up, go forward rather, and the other leg has to kind of stay in the same place as the body moves, right? So. In a sense, one leg moves forward, other leg kind of stays back, then it's a reverse, right? So, how can we achieve that? Well, um, right here, so you have to do the, uh, you have to do the step one, step two, right? So, you have to do step one, step two. Let's, let's go ahead and put the leg and see what happens, okay? And the right leg, right leg right along with that turn you may remember um, if you want the leg to go forward you have to do backward let's see 0 0.05 left leg drag it here turn forward reverse of that 0 0.05 okay and remember this body, the whole movement should happen together, leg movement, movement, body movement and all that, okay? So let's see what it, what, how it looks, okay? So that's a good starting movement. I know that's kind of looks funny, but uh, that's because we are repeating the same steps again and again, right? Okay, so that does look funny, isn't it? Okay, so then make a copy. So then we do the reverse steps, right? Step one, step two, checks, step one, step two. So in the step two, only thing that remains the same is the moving forward part. Legs should take, uh, legs should change directions, okay? Let's see. That looks close to walking, but that's not how we walk, right? Well, that's another problem. He, he really went into the tube. So, unlike before, because we are making lot of steps, two, two steps, only then we are checking, right? Okay. So, so he's kind of coming to straight st position and then puts one foot forward and then other foot uh, kind of comes, right? And also, even when he's walking, it's a kind of uh, some adjustment needed. Anyway, that's a smaller problem. So, okay. So, the reason is because we are starting in a stable position, meaning uh, we should be getting into walking position, then that would make sense, right? So, uh, we, right, think of how you will start to walk, right? You go to walking position, then the leg movements, right? Here we don't have walking position to start with. How do you do that? Well, step one, step two, step one, step two. So, kind of we need to do the half of step two here, right? So, let's make a copy to the top. Okay. So, in that, half of that, um, if we want, we can, yeah, let's see, 0 0.025. 0 0.025 okay now let's see how it looks see now the legs are adjusted now he is ready for real walking still I see some sliding action you know see even with the proper walking we still see some sliding action see the the legs that supposed to stay in the same place it's moving that means we are not, our, uh, our angle is not big enough, right? So, let's fix the angle. Let's go to the little bit bigger. It's 0 0.05, 0 0.05. Just double the, double the thing. So, everything here is the double of the, double of that initial adjustment thing. Okay. 
So the 0.21 revolution, right? 10 percent, 10 dD. Is it 10 dD? And 10 percent of the revolution, full revolution. Okay, let's see how it looks now. Legs are ready. That looks pretty decent, right? Maybe leg moves a little bit back now, I think, but it's not too bad, right? So far, his height is uh, able to walk reasonably. Very good. So the only remaining problem is that this guy is just going into and dashing into this tube before he returns, right? Okay. Like that. Again, the reason is because we used to move just to 0.5 meters. Now we are doing two steps, two steps before checking, right? So we should be checking really after each step, okay? So let me go ahead, throw in this thing there. You can make a copy of this, right? Throw in a copy after each check, okay? So each step. Each step one, check. Step two, check. Let's see. We can fix that initial portion as well. Much better than before, right? So because now we are checking more often that we are able to catch him before he dashes into the tube. Okay? Okay. So that's good. Only problem is now we have humongous amount of code, right? The stuff repeated and even the steps with the, along with the steps and everything, there's so much going on. Uh, by the way, just let's go ahead and make this do together and move these things in so that uh, kind of uh, makes it looks nice. Yeah, so, okay. I don't know that that's the uh, right way. We don't need to do a right way, perfect way, okay? Okay, so now this code has become lot, right? So we really want to kind of uh, simplify, particularly this checking, right? The checking is bad because the same code is repeated twice. Anybody who writes a software, you can talk to them that that's bad. You know, any repetition of the code is not good, okay? Okay, so what can we do? Well, uh, this is the time to show some modularization. We want to break this down to multiple methods, okay? So, let's see here, everything is to do with the jack. Uh, these ones are at least to do with the jack. So, well, let's go with jack methods and create a new method. Step one, I'm going to call it. And also step two. Okay. So, again, this can be under jack. It can be even under world. Okay. So step one, step two, I'm going to go back to my first method, take this uh, uh, step one, which is this, drag this, put it in clipboard, go to step one, drag run clipboard, place it here, okay? So I moved the step one code from here, from the first, my first method to step one. Do the same thing with the second step. By the way, it's a copy. It's not removed actually, right? Dragging, placing it there. Go to click on jack step two, drag it here. Okay, very good. Let's go back here. Now I'm going to delete this. Delete this code. Instead, I'm going to drag the step one, put it there. Okay, Jack doing step one, delete this code, then check and drag the step to press and, and drag, left, left click and drag and drop it here. Okay, so we managed to get rid of some code from here and move it to the individual methods. You should be able to play it, so you shouldn't see any difference whatsoever. Okay. Simply, we reorganize the code, that's all, okay? Okay, what about this then, the if checks? Well, those are the checks where Jack is against several other things we are checking. So we can go under world and create uh, check. 
collision check. Okay. Um, or simply check, not a big deal, you know. So, okay, so we have the check we created under the world method, a collision check method. Okay, go back to my my first method. Let's drag this if code. Let's see whether you can drop it directly. No, you cannot drag that drop directly. So, you have to drop it to the, the clipboard and then drag it here. So, this guy now takes care of the checking and uh, turning around and all that what it really enables us is you, know, you, will, you will see quite a, amazed at what happens is a right click and delete i have delete both of them now simply introduce drag and drop collision check how about that now due to this mechanism we have managed to get rid of the duplicating code see instead of having duplicated code this time we have collision check invocations twice and there is only one collision check right so software people really love it you know whenever you avoid repeating code it's really lot less headache you know because when you repeat code what happens is whenever you fix something you have to make sure you fix in two places you know and uh, people are always in a hurry you may forget to fix in the second place and get into some serious problems okay then uh, creates more chaos more issues you know all those things okay uh, thank you